welcome to the new movie thing show. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Today we watched A Good Day to Die Hard. That movie stars Bruce Willis and then that roided up dude that plays his son. Yes. Jay something. If you can't make it to the movies this weekend, remember you can go to netflix.com slash sourcefed for a free month of instant streaming, and then you can join us on our other movie show, Movie Club. <laughs> this movie's all about John McClane. He's an old man now. He's trying to find out what the f happened to his son. He finds out his son's in trouble. So he goes to Russia. All sorts of crazy shit happens. Absolutely. So this film stars Bruce Willis, you know, reprising his role as John McClane. Mm-hmm. Also plays Jai, what's his name? Jay Courtney. Jai Courtney, you have a weird first name, sir. But yeah. you look good. He looks a little roided out. Like, have you ever seen guys that look so muscly that it looks like they're uncomfortable? Like, you see fat people that look uncomfortably fat. This guy looks uncomfortably ripped. He looks perfect. Looks like he sits down and goes, I wore the wrong shirt. Also, the movie stars Mary. Elizabeth Winstead, who was uh, Ramona Flowers in Scott Pilgrim, and she's a cutie patootie. She's a cute mm -hmm. machine. So quickie review, if you're running out to the theater and you're like, what do I watch? I'd say go see this movie, but like take your dad or like all your friends that like to make fun of like cheesy action movies because this movie does not take place in the real world. It's no. like some fantasy world where cartoon things happen and you survive very horrible accidents. As long as you're Bruce Willis or his son, nothing can hurt you're, you. You're invincible. Basically, they, they were in God mode the whole movie. Oh, go see this movie. I love cheesy action films. I loved Expendables. I mean, I, Eraser. I love action films where people are like, that was a terrible action movie. You shut your mouth. It was great, and I like this film. There's movies that exist that are good action movies that are also actually good movies, like Predator. Predator is like a fucking amazing action movie and a good movie with a good story and great characters. This one just so happens to be just a big action, like, what the f fest, with not much story, really. I'm surprised it didn't come out during the summer. It's like a perfect summer blockbuster. Yeah, it really is. Now it's time for Love It. And Hate It. Look, I'm a piece of glass. And look, I'm another piece of glass. And then another piece of glass. And then a truck. And then explosions. Look, you're alive. Still good. So my love it in this movie is just how ridiculous it is. I love how, uh, explosions and there are car scenes. I feel like this movie is literally like a dude, a grown man was sitting in his underwear with a ton of Hot Wheels and was just like <laughs> <laughs> And then the, and then the car hits and he flips over and it goes Wah! and then he and then it goes over the bridge and it's like Wah, I'm gonna die but wait no. Go in, take a friend. It's really fun to just like laugh and be like that didn't that didn't just happen. That yeah. didn't just happen. My hate it would have to. To be how ridiculous this movie is. <laughs> There's just some of the most ridiculous stuff that doesn't need to be ridiculous mm. and like plot holes all over the friggin' place. Also, there's a scene in the film, lovely lady, the beginning of the movie, has this jacket. She takes it off ridiculous. Normal person? It's actually in the trailer. You can yeah. see it in the trailer. Normal like. person? Hey, my jacket's off. This bitch in the movie? It was like needlessly like, I'm hot. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh -huh. This is how I take off my shirt. I made a mistake by leaving the house this morning. That's how I normally take my shirt off yeah. when I get home. And this is how I would do it in Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Motor boating my boobs. I love it and hate it is as follows. I loved the over the top action like you did too. I thought it was absolutely ridiculous. There's so many unbelievably not realistic stunts that happen in this movie. What I hated was like the blatant like, oh, let's poke fun how old Bruce Willis's character is. <laughs> like in the beginning of the movie, they're like, hey grandpa, something's wrong with your son. At least half a dozen times in this film he goes, I'm on vacation! Oh my god! They say there should be a drinking game for how many times he says I'm on vacation. It's like the I'm not supposed to be here today in clerks, basically. The other thing I hated was the obvious uh, exposition where like Bruce Willis was talking to the guy by the car and he's like, I guess I wasn't around for my son, you know, growing up, and I was just working and I thought it was the right thing to do. And his son's like listening like around the corner, like, my he does care about me. What? Really? Is this okay? So anyway, don't take this movie seriously. I didn't. It's one of those movies you take your friends to see and you just yeah. laugh your asses off at how ridiculous it is. Yeah, absolutely. So final thoughts. Uh, go see this film. It's fun. It's ridiculous. You're going to laugh at it. Take your friends. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm giving this one a four out of five because I love cheesy action movies. I love crappy action movies. I love good action movies. And this is kind of a little bit of everything all in one ridiculous explosion glass 
flailing pile. And I loved it. My final thoughts are, I uh, yeah, go see it. But again, like take your dad, because I know your dad loves action movies. Turn your brain off. Don't expect anything that's gonna be like Academy Award winning shit. Just expect a big action movie with a bunch of muscly dudes shooting up other dudes and explosions and car crashes and shit. I'll give this movie three out of five Ewok hugs because the three, again, the three is because I like action movies, I do. This was just kind of like your typical run of the mill action. I don't think it's gonna win any awards, but yeah, go see it, go see it. So like we said, this movie isn't for everyone right now on IMDb, it has a 6.4 out of 10. So not great, but not awful. No, it's right in the middle. Also on Rotten Tomatoes, users gave it 82%. So the users are kind of into it, but the critics gave it 17%. <laughs> is that a one seven? That's a one seven. seven. 17%. Mm. No. Yeah. What did you expect? This movie taught me the most important lesson, which is if you're in a building and you need to escape, just jump out the window. Don't even look. Don't even, they never even they looked. They never looked. Full speed. They just were like, YOLO. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Meg, I bet I could run through that wall and survive. Try it. I'm going to do my jacket. Okay. Ah! I'm going to gear up. Ready? I'm stuck to no Steve. <laughs> oh, God. My mic pack is really, this is a shit show, Steve. It's a shit show. <laughs> Did I kick you really hard? Whoops.